Okay, Miss Okam, could you close your eyes and I have something to put in front of your nose. Can you tell me what smell it is? Okay. Okay. No. And close your eyes. I smell orange. Oranges. Orange. Okay. Perfect. Nerve one. Olfactory. Olfactory refers to anything related to the sense of smell. The olfactory system is responsible for detecting and identifying different odors and scents. This system includes the olfactory nerve, olfactory receptors in the nasal cavity, and the brain regions that process and interpret olfactory information. Our ability to preserve and distinguish various odors is part of our olfactory sense. Yes, so I want you to cover your left eye and then I want you to focus your eyes on my eye without without moving your eyes. And can you tell me how many fingers I'm holding up? Okay, now. Two. Zero. One. Okay, let's proceed to other eyes. Two. Four. Okay, perfect. So what do you process? Okay, I want you to look at look at the chart and try to read the lowest line what that you can read. First, cover your left and then your right and then try to read it both. Okay, okay. cover your left eye. D E F P O T E C Okay. D E F P O T E C D E F P O T E C Okay, perfect. Great. Nerve 2. Optic. The optic nerve is responsible for transmitting visual information from the eye to the brain. It's named optic because it relates to vision and plays a crucial role in the visual system, carrying signals generated by the eye's photoreceptor cells to the brain for processing and interpretation. I have here a I want you to look at it and I want you to move your eyes without moving, without moving your head. Okay, great. You did. Nerve 3. Oculomotor, primarily responsible for controlling the movements of the eye and certain functions related to vision. The oculomotor nerve innervates several muscles that control the eye's movements, including the superior rectus, inferior rectus, medial rectus, and inferior oblique muscles. These muscles work together to enable us to move our eyes in various directions such as up, down, and side to side. Nerve 4 Trochlear The trochlear nerve arises from the trochlear nucleus located within the periductal gray substance of the midbrain and emerges in the dorsal midbrain caudal to the inferior colliculus. It enables movement in the eye's superior oblique muscle. This makes it possible to look down. The nerve also enables you to move your eyes toward your nose or away from it. I want you to stare straight at the wall. Nerve 5 Trigeminal The trigeminal nerve is the largest of the cranial nerves and provides sensory and motor innervation to the muscles of mastication. More specifically, the sensory information conducted by this nerve includes touch, pain, and temperature. Its primary function is to provide sensory innervation to the face and is divided into three main branches. The different branches are the ophthalmic, maxillary, and mandibular nerves. Stir up in a distant piece and do move your head, just keep it still and focus at the front. Okay. okay.
Nerve 6. Abducens. Of all the cranial nerves, the abducens nerve has the second largest intracranial force. It is located in the pons at the floor of the fourth ventricle, at the same level as the facial colliculus. It moves the eye outward, so you can look to the side, via the contralateral medial rectus muscle. It coordinates the simultaneous side-to-side -side movement of your eyes. Okay, can you close your eyes and then open them up? And can you see a smile from me? Fran? And can you pop your cheeks? Okay, great. Perfect. Nerve 7. Facial nerve. The facial nerve controls the muscles that help you smile, frown, wrinkle your nose, and raise your eyebrows and forehead. This seven cranial nerve performs motor and sensory functions. I'll be covering your left ear, then tell me what to say, okay? Blueberry. Okay, and go to your right side. Milkshake. Milkshake. Perfect. Nerve 8. Vestibulocochlear. Hearing or auditory processing refers to the awareness of sounds and placing meaning to those sounds. It involves a complex series of steps in which several parts of your ear and auditory nervous system work together harmoniously. Okay, open your mouth and I want you to say ah, uh, ah, uh, and I will push it a little farther. Okay. Nerve 9. Glossopharyngeal nerve. The glossopharyngeal nerve is the ninth set of 12 cranial nerves. It provides motor, parasympathetic, and sensory information to your mouth and throat. Among its many functions, the nerve helps raise part of your throat, enabling swallowing. Nerve 10 Vagus nerve The vagus nerve is the 10th cranial nerve and it is the longest mix. Cranial nerve It is actually a pair of nerves that emerge from the left and right side of the medulla obligata portion. Of the brain stem. It is responsible for the regulation of internal organ functions such as digestion, heart rate, and respiratory rate, as well as vasomotor activity and certain reflex action such as coughing, sneezing, swallowing, and vomiting. Down and try to reach that. Okay, perfect. Nerve 11. Accessory nerve. The spinal accessory nerve is found in the posterior cervical triangle, formed by trapezoids, sternocleidomastoid, and clavicle. It is responsible for rotation of head away from the side of the contracting sternocleidomastoid muscle. Tilting of the head towards the contracting sternocleidomastoid muscle. Flexion of the neck by both sternocleidomastoid muscle. Okay, I want you to stick out your tongue and move it side to side. Okay, that's perfect. Nerve 12. Hypoglossal. The hypoglossal nerve is the 12th cranial nerve. It is mainly an efferent nerve for the tongue musculature. It helps you move your tongue. It enables you to speak, swallow, and push substances around in your mouth. Okay, everything is good and you don't have a problem. Thank you so much, Nath. Thank you.